ISO 45001, 2018 course. Complete course from zero to internal auditor. Hello, and welcome to the course. In this video, we're going to be getting a brief overview of all the content in this course and its goals. Let's go ahead and get started. This course has been made by specialized consultants who are certified internal auditors for the ISO 45001 standard and also for other standards. All our consultants are teachers with over 10 years of classroom and online training, both through videos and live webinars, and our mission is to guide you through all the concept of the standard. This material has been made with three specific goals in mind. First of all, you will have extended knowledge of the ISO 45001 standard. Then, you will be able to build a 45001 system. By building a system, we mean that you will also be able to build its most important documents, such as the context analysis and the risk opportunity assessment. And finally, if this course fulfills the requirements that your company set for this role, you will become an internal auditor for this standard. So, this course will give you both the theory and the practice regarding this standard. As for the course structure, you may see here your global path, which is made of 11 chapters and one milestone project at the middle. The course starts with Chapter 1. Chapter 1 is an introduction chapter, which includes this overview, a discussion of what is a certification, and a chapter of how to best approach this course to maximize your benefits from taking this course. In this first chapter, we will also learn about certifications, and we'll learn about the certification cycle. Then, in Chapter 2, we'll have a brief overview on what a health and safety management system is. After that, in Chapter 3, we'll get started with the PDCA cycle, which according to ISO is the best way to manage processes. Next, we will start with the risk management sections, which will be Chapter 4, 5, and 6. We'll learn about risks and risk management basics. The risk management section is so important that we decided to put something special at the end of it. We put an assignment that from now on we will call Milestone Project. In this project, you will receive the assignment of making a very simple version of a context analysis and a simple version of a risk opportunity assessment. Then, this project will be evaluated by our team of consultants. We will give you feedback on your material, so that at the end of this part, we will be 100% sure that you are able to write a context analysis and a risk opportunity assessment on your own. Then we'll go to the section made of chapter 7 and 8, which we will call the Dew Mountain. We'll learn about the few key process that you have to put in place in your company in order to become 45001 certified. Then we'll move on to chapter 9, in which you will learn about the ways you can do performance evaluation basically through audits and indicators monitoring. Then we'll move on to chapter 10, in which we will learn about nonconformities management, what they are, and how to plan corrective actions. But that's not all. There's advanced bonus content, which is chapter 11, in which you can find a final summary of all the useful information for building your own 45001 management system. As we state many times during the course, the course has a step-by-step -step approach, which means that it has many intermediate steps in which you can check your knowledge on each topic, both through exercises and by asking us at our email. It's worth mentioning that this course is by no means completely passive. You will get access to dedicated help from our team of consultants, which are here to help you. Every chapter ends with an appeal to our students to give us feedback and ask any kinds of questions. Think of our email, which is occam at occam-consult.com, as a door which is always open for you. So that's the entire course curriculum overview. In the next few minutes, we will get into details about how chapters are made. About the course, the three modules. Every topic is covered by three types of modules, learn, build, and exercise. Learn modules. By following these parts, you will have extended knowledge of the ISO 45001 standard. This could be useful to anyone that works in a company that for some reason needs to be certified or it's already certified. Consider this part as something more passive. We just want to know what the standard requires us to do. In order to make you get familiar with the content of the standard, we will often recall its clauses. 
but since the wording of the standard is sometimes a little bit obscure, we will often trim it and simplify it a little bit. Build modules. You will be able to build a 45001 system based upon the 45001 standard. This is a more active part of our course. It means that as soon as you know what the standard asks you to do, you can start to build your system. This means preparing the needed documents or changing the way your company manages health and safety. So you may consider this part as a more active side of the course. Exercise modules. You will be given a simple training in which you can check what you got from the learn and build modules. As we said before, most of these exercise modules are simple quizzes. And of these exercises is the milestone project. You will be given an assignment which will be evaluated by your experts. Does it seem like too much? Don't worry. This course has a step-by-step -step structure. For any essential point of the standard, you will find learn, build, and exercise all in a row. Slow and steady wins the race. One brief note before going forward. Every time we will be working in the build parts, you will find in the upper right side of the screen this specific symbol made of a pencil and a wrench. This clear division between learn, build, and exercise will help you navigate through the course. The learn and build part will be the more passive parts of the course, while the exercise part will require your direct contribution. All of them are useful, so we recommend not to skip any of it. It may seem awkward, but it's also useful to take five minutes and talk about you. Let's find out if and how you could be the ideal student for this course. First case, OHS professional. The first case is the simplest. You may be someone who already works in Occupational Health and Safety, also known as the acronym OHS. OHS professionals have a very open range of duties, who could range from conducting basic training to write and enforce health and safety procedures. This course could be useful to OHS professionals who need to upgrade their companies from the old 18001 standard to the new 45001 standard. Another possibility is that your company has never been certified so you will have to build a 45001 system from scratch. Second case, student, someone willing to learn a new skill. You may be someone looking for a new job, or maybe you want to add a new skill to your current job. Health and safety is often linked to quality and environment matters, so it could be useful to know more about OHS standards even if you are a professional in these two areas. Or, even better, you might have to build a new career, and you might want to make occupational health and safety your new job. Third case, employee of a 45001 certified company. Last but not least, your company could have recently upgraded to the new 45001 standard, and you may need to know what it is all about. These three cases are the most common ones, and for different reasons, each of these three cases could benefit from a course entirely focused on the new 45001 standard. So let's go ahead and get started with the course. Thank you, and I'll see you at the next lecture.